this is knowledge for all YouTube channel scratch tutorial series scratch blocks in this video in specific we are going to try to explain what when key pressed scratch block is doing okay let's go to the scratch environment uh, we are continuing where we have uh, stopped in uh, last video in last lesson uh, there we have learned how to use when green flag clicked button and uh, now in this one we are going to learn the some other uh, button the some other block uh, in specific when key pressed so uh, go to your events blocks uh, in scratch they are marked with the, they are colored yellow uh, click on the second one from the top which says when space key pressed click and drag it to your right and that is uh, code window um, uh, again as we have said before uh, scratch doesn't do anything on its own and uh, if you, you to uh, talk to scratch to say what he uh, what you want him to do for you you have to uh, um, like talking with the human in sentences you have to put some sentences here some blocks of code of text and numbers to tell scratch what do you need finished and done uh, so if we have a when space key pressed button here and click on it nothing will happen or if we click the space on our, on our keyboard and nothing will happen why because we have no code here below this button so we have to add something for scratch to start working okay so uh, let's again go to looks block section and uh, find the one which says change size by 10 click and drag it from left to your right and uh, snap it to our when space key pressed uh, okay so uh, before uh, checking it in our uh, game window on our stage let's uh, just uh, explain uh, s uh, try to examine it uh, from our uh, real world from uh, how uh, humans talk and again that's the best way to for beginners to use and what this block of code says is when space key is pressed something will change size by 10 in our case that's cat so it means probably cat will go bigger or smaller by 10 i don't uh, we don't know yet what that means what is 10 uh, represents here it's a number we know but we don't know how big is that how change we saw size will how uh, size will will really change in terms of how 10 will affect the cat okay so uh, let's click on our stage and press the space and yeah it works it, it grows by 10 uh, my space key on the keyboard is pretty damaged from from the usage so far so I uh, will s um, change this space into something else if you click on this um, arrow down arrow here on sp uh, right to the space uh, pop-up window will open which will show you that you can pick any number from 0 to 9 or any letter from A to Z uh, or any arrow and in my case I will pick G why because it, it uh, for me it uh, reminds me of uh, the word grow which means uh, if I press the G key now the cat will grow by 10 and as you can see I can press it once it will grow and uh, I can wait like five seconds five hours five days and then when I come here again I can press G it will grow again but I can also just press the key and hold it and it will grow in size continually okay uh, this is <laughs> this looks fun and and, and funny and uh, interesting but uh, the cat he is now too big for the scene it can be some uh, giant in some giant game but I want my a game to start with the cat looking uh, normal like uh, it was on the start when it started scratch how to do it um, if you see under the stage there is a, there are a lot of uh, text and numbers uh, which uh, are uh, connected to our sprite uh, sprite I've explained it before and I will probably do it a couple of times more in our 
videos beginner videos here uh, sprite means picture sprite means the picture you are using for your character object and so on so that's the artwork you're using the speak the picture the photo you're drawing whatever in our case here our sprite is cat so all these numbers all these letters and symbols they are saying me telling me what uh, my sprite my cat is uh, uh, where is it position on the stage and how big it is and so on so uh, how uh, where uh, it looks and so on so <coughs> in my particular case I want uh, I'm working with size now so let try let's try to find the size uh, button yeah it's right there and uh, it's a field uh, size uh, and it has some numbers there is some number 535 that means 535 size is 535 which probably means nothing to you now we don't know how the what uh, I uh, didn't warn you to watch the uh, what this number was before we used the change size code but uh, if we just uh, type in instead of 535 if we type 100% and press enter uh, cat will change to its normal size so uh, why is this uh, number st uh, 100 uh, representing the normal size in uh, terms of that's uh, mathematics uh, simple mathematics and um, it's used in real life a lot it's just it's what it's called is uh, percentage 100 per, uh, uh, means 100 percent the size is, is in percentage so uh, 100 means normal size um, your size uh, in your real life can be also uh, viewed as 100 percent so if you uh, would have some magic potion and turn into uh, giant you would turn from 100 for to, uh, for example if I want to grow four times four time, times bigger I would click instead of 100 I will I will click four times 100 and that is how much 400 and so this this will uh, grow cat to 400 okay I don't want it like that I want it back to 100 I will press my G button and test if it grows again yeah it grows then i will turn it back to 100 but this process is painful and uh, stupid and your uh, players are not going to be able to see those numbers in this code and change them when they when they are playing the, your game in scratch website so they will not be able to change this uh, number to 100 by typing it so we have to uh, give them some choice how to do it uh, other otherwise uh, if uh, uh, we analyze the code which we have just made when G keep pressed uh, grow change the size uh, by 10 percent uh, there must be some way to lower the size to make it smaller so if we have used change the size by uh, 10 to grow it by 10 what would be um, solution to make it smaller by 10 it's probably something very 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 uh, close to that uh, simple and uh, similar to that so uh, let me just play with this and try to find that i can uh, um, again go to uh, looks motion and click and drag again this uh, change size by 10 and that's all cool that's all fast but uh, when you have uh, I, I will not do it that way I will show you some other way and that is when you have uh, this works for now because it's a uh, very simple code only one line of code but when you have uh, so many code like you can have 100 or 1000 uh, blocks of code connected so you don't want to click and drag and click and drag uh, 100 times so you what you can do you can just right click on the uh, se uh, block set you want to copy click duplicate and uh, it's just as simple as that the new copy will show up on your um, screen the problem is that will be exact copy so it will do the same thing and we don't want that we want our cat to get smaller 
Mm, a smaller that would uh, small starts with with the S, so I will use S letter, and uh, this change size. If we have used 10, which means 10% to grow its size, uh, what can we do here to make it to go smaller by 10? In Scratch, as in uh, many programming languages. Uh, uh, the percentage or uh, uh, is uh, mm, and in general math I hope you if you're not too young you you should know how to use basic mathematics and uh, and numbers and uh, addition subtractions and percentages so on but in mathematics in general and uh, programming the uh, letters uh, for uh, which uh, humans use to represent when something goes other way uh, or um, smaller or so-called negative is minus minus means negative so if we have here uh, change size by 10 negative of it would be minus 10 so uh, let's try that in our game in our example so if I press G key Cat grows if I pre press S key, the change happens and cat grows smaller. And it's not this, it, it is not disappeared uh, in total, but it's very, very small. And if you read this number here, you can see that it says it's only five, it's only five percent big, and that's really, really small. No one can play like game like that, probably. I don't know. Let's go back to bigger and so on uh, so we have uh, and if you see this button these numbers here uh, are going in 10 percentage here because we have made them like that in our code 10 and minus 10 it adds 10 or sub subtract subtracts 10 uh, but um, uh, this example is not so uh, stupid or not usable in uh, real uh, in real games, for example, you, you can uh, make some uh, later, we'll, we will make more complex game and uh, more interesting uh, stuff. Uh, this is just explanation of uh, the block of code. But, uh, for example, you can always um, uh, think of it, of uh, those simple examples as some ideas for your bigger game, more complex game. Like, for example, this cat can be in some magic world where it can grow if it uh, eats uh, like some cookie in Alice in Wonderland uh, some magic potion it grows it turns into giant and uh, when it uh, eats something else it uh, gets smaller and it turns into ant or something like that okay so th this works this looks fun and interesting it can uh, be used in real games that's all cool and I hope you have understood uh, what this G and S, uh, what this key pressed block means you can pick whatever key you want from the your keyboard and attach some code to it and when you press that key on your keyboard something will happen what will happen whatever you code here in scratch if you have 10 uh, different things here it will uh, they would all be read by scratch and uh, scratch will execute them do them and if you have only one well, like we have here uh, the only one uh, instruction will be executed uh, again try to to think of it just like in uh, uh, some real world examples like I uh, the and the one which I have used for the one green flag clicked uh, was um, light switch and so I, I told you to connect it to that example in real world like uh, if I press the light switch light goes on saying can be used for this one and one problem you can uh, have uh, here to understand I hope you don't have it but maybe you have is uh, how these two buttons are different but they sh it should be very clear that uh, these uh, buttons which we have just explained here when key pressed will happen only and only when these buttons which we have chose uh, these keys are pressed so uh, growing will happen only when the G 
button is pressed. Small, smaller, uh, smaller size will happen only when the S key is pressed. And uh, the green flag clicked represents the whole game in terms of this is how the game starts. So uh, in your uh, uh, real games, you will probably have to uh, have a. Um, you will have to code your controls for your character, uh, like uh, using key presses, and you will also have to use this green flag clicked by code block tool. You will have, uh, you will need to have both uh, so many of uh, these and only one this uh, green flag clicked because this one will represent the whole game starting. I will. Uh, I'm not going. I I'm probably confusing you more by talking more about this. I will try to explain it more in uh, later examples, and it will make more sense. But because we will learn more about uh, code and more code blocks, so when you learn more code blocks, more uh, um, uh, the things will more look uh, will look more and more simple and easier f for you to. Uh, understand but uh, also don't you don't have to wait for me to shoot another video or uh, explain something or maybe I don't explain it the best way the whole idea of programming is it should be fun it's it should be easy uh, at least at the beginners level it should be uh, fun to play like uh, playing with something experimenting with something uh, creating something and uh, it should be fast and uh, all of you can do that on your own by uh, exploring, just drag and dropping these uh, blocks, exploring what they work, how they work, connecting them together, snapping them together, deleting them, adding them. It's just, uh, think of it just as a playground, and that's the best way to think of it, and uh, that's the best way to learn. Uh, that's it for now. In the meantime, try to learn more stuff to improve yourself and others by helping them. And that's it. Bye for now.